Yeah, guys, so I've got my AirPods, AirPods in, so I might be talking a bit loud, but I'm basically waiting for a call, so, and she's actually late, five minutes late already. I left this morning at half six to work from my parents' house for half the day um, because I had a smear test. Ladies, any ladies that are watching this, please, please, please make sure you go get your smear test. It's literally every three years. It's not, I wouldn't even say, I mean, it's slightly uncomfortable because she had a right faff getting a sample from me. But anyways, we won't go into that. But like, apart from that, like, it's fine. I think it's more like having to get down there out in front of a stranger. And it's like, yeah, it's just, I think that's what it is for me. There's nothing else. Like, I don't care about having it done, anything like that. Um, but yeah, please get it done. Like, family have a history of cervical cancer. So like, it's so important for me to go get checked out down there. Um, so yeah, that was that. I've just come home. But I wanted to open this parcel that I've been waiting for since before Christmas. I got Sprout this like pink cash jumper because she's like obsessed with dollar dollar bills. And when her friend went to New York, like the very, very first time they went to America, she's like, oh, can you bring back a dollar bill? And like my sister's friend framed it and everything for her. But I got her a size medium. Oh, I'm glad I did. I was literally gonna get her a large. Like I think even that's quite big, especially cause like she's losing weight. But I think she'll love that, it's so cute. And at least I've got more than fucking two presents to give her as well. So that was good timing. And then basically I ordered her a case, but I'll show you guys mine first. So I went for this cute Peter Pan one. God, that's a bit wonks. Got this, oh, it's a bit hard to show you guys. Maybe I'll do it that way. Got this cute, uh -huh. this cute Peter Pan one for my phone. And then cause she loves Taylor Swift and she really wants to go to the concert and stuff, but um, it's just not happening. She, I had to like keep asking her what her favorite Taylor Swift album was and she loves 1989 and was it Reputation? So I think I chose 1989. Right, can I show you guys what that looks like? So yeah, it's just literally, each case has like all her songs. Like her. Each case, they have separate cases where one's like a dedicated album. So this is 1989, they have Reputation, um, I don't know if they've got Lover, but you know, all that good stuff. So hopefully she likes this one. So yes, now she's got a couple more presents to open. Thank the Lord. So yeah, that is all that came. That's all I've got to update you guys on. I don't know whether to go to the gym or not, but I do need to go to next to pick up um, some parcels, but maybe I'll just do a parcel one instead. Good morning, guys. No. Yeah, good morning, guys. So I wanted to show you guys a few parcels that I just got. I am all done up today in normal clothing because I had to take my passport photo again because I sent one with a textured background. They don't like that. <laughs> um, but I just kind of risked my luck, even though it said that it was good on the website, like they accepted it. Anyways, so I need to do that. I'm just finishing editing my New York vlogs. They've just been so spread out. Like I've just felt quite lazy. I'm like quick to like make all the content in the world, but then I'm lazy to edit it at times. I go through phases where I'm like edit all in one go or like, yeah. So that is what I've done. Then I filmed like a get ready with me wearing this for the Instagram because everyone seems to like my talking one. So I did that. But yeah, I'm gonna kind of take you through some bits today and then I think I'll vlog tomorrow, end it there and then start fresh on Saturday. When I'm working with Wooka again. I literally loved their period underwear that they sent me last time. Like I've been using it, I wouldn't say nonstop, but I've used it since I've had it. I think I've used it once now. But like, because I've got two pairs, let's see what I got today. Okay, we're going for the cotton ones. A midi brief black stretch cotton. So I'm not gonna open it just yet actually, because I need to kind of decide what content I'm filming for that first. And then I'm working with another brand called Contour. So we're doing a little Instagram collab. Um, Finally getting some paid collaborations on TikTok, so that's good because I'm sometimes quite fussy of who I work with and I was like a bit thingy because I just gone through with this collab and then I saw this girl that I follow who like does body positivity about like she won't work with shapewear brands because you know it's like feeding off people's insecurities, like making money and stuff like that. But I just think like let people live, like, I don't care if you wear shapewear, you don't wear shapewear. If I wanna wear shapewear, I wear shapewear. Like, I just, it just baffles me. I'm just like so past the point now of like people's opinions and what people think and like, I just do me. Like, I just don't even care anymore. That's kind of why I've sort of, my content's a bit more fashion based at the moment because it's good to have body positivity and like posts and stuff. But I got to the point as well where I'm like, why do I keep highlighting it? Why do I keep putting it in my captions? Why do I keep mentioning it? Like, just post a picture. 
if you've got cellulite in it, you've got cellulite in it. Like, that is just normal bodies. That's like everyday life. That's reality. That's kind of my thing now. So, we're trying the Conserve High Waisted Shaper Shorts. So, I hope I like these. So, that's what they look like. I will give you guys a little try on, I think, as well. A bit later, when I can be bothered to try them on. But my thoughts are, as well, is that just because they're shapewear and they're probably, like, concealing and cinching you in a bit, smoothing things out, like... I feel like I wear these especially when it's occasions or I want to feel a bit more confident or a bit better in myself or if it's that time of the month and you're bloated, anything like that. Like there's so many different reasons to wear shapewear. It's not literally just to make yourself slimmer and snatched. And one other big reason that I got these to try as well is because chafing, like chafing in summer, no. Um, and they don't feel like super, comp well, they do feel super compressive actually, but yeah, we'll see how they hold up. I just want to get back to editing my videos and get them all done because I've just got so much content to edit. I'm going to pop out later. I'm not going to the gym. So yeah, I will catch up with you guys in a bit. Good morning, guys. So my mum and Sprout are on their way because we're celebrating Sprout's birthday today. So I can do some like decks, cakes, you know, all that stuff. That will be in Sprout's birthday vlog. But I literally just was thinking to myself, I'm going to show you guys the decorations. I didn't even show you the Toy Story cake that I made yesterday, like in person because I dropped it off, it was like quite a manic day. I literally got up at seven, started making the cake at half seven, finished about three, had to go and pick up Sprout's cake because I didn't want to make it because my practice run was just all over the gaff and I'd rather just not have the stress of doing two cakes in one day. I think I would have just been over the top. So I'm gonna show you a picture. That's what it looks like. So I did like the, the everything's fondant, but the characters. Um, so we got his name at the bottom. I did the fondant logo that I will insert an actual picture here, I think, so you guys can see it a bit better. So yeah, I'm really gutted that I forgot to vlog that, but I'm gonna take you around with us today. We're not gonna be doing too much. Um, and then like all the birthday bits will be in Sprouts vlog. Guys are in B&M, look what Sprouts done. <laughs> Let me show you what we've got. This is my section. No, I ain't, I ain't buying that. That's mum's. Yeah, I got to add to my vlog. Oh, right? oh, 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 o
Um, and I need to show you the three plates that I've got for my room. I don't even like Marilyn Monroe that much, but I really like the plates. So Sprout is currently organized and tidy my room so I can find a place to hang them. And I need to show you a few of the other bits I've got. You saw the sunflower mat. That was from Matalan, that was 10 pound. It's like a little, it's a dog one. And you put the treats in it, but it would be quite good for the babies. I can't remember what else I bought. I bought a lot of household bits as well. But I'm gonna show you my room when it's done because we're tidying it up and organizing it. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly show you that. Good morning guys. So my oh my red buttercream has finally red buttercream, red colouring has finally come, which I needed back like three days ago, so that was fun. I also forgot to tell you guys that I ordered my new passport. Obviously, I can't show you any details. So this is what the old one looks like for those who don't know. And then my new one. So yeah, you have to change them every 10 years. But in the new one, they literally have your photo about four times within the two pages. It's so weird. But originally they didn't accept my photo that I sent because I did it with the doors and it had like a textured background, which was kind of risky, but it did say that it was good. Um, so I thought I'd take my chances. And then, yeah, it got rejected. Then uploaded another one, but it was like, same photo, same location, like, and it was like, oh, this is too light, too dark. And then another one was like, oh, you, Basically saying I blend in with the background, like I'm that pale, I bend, blend in with the background. I'm like, you can see my hair, it frames my face. I'm wearing a bright pink and black zebra shirt. Um, and then I just I just submitted it and they, they make you put comments as to why you think the photo is appropriate. I'm like, well, obviously the quality's clear, the lighting's fine, like all of that. So yeah, that's finally done. And I also got my sh insider showcase card because I signed up to be like, uh, member so that you can get like 10% off and stuff because we sometimes go to the cinema in blue water and that's a showcase one so yeah got that filmed some content today I did my woo car I did some before and after photos of Boomba that I forgot to do like a month ago which was really bad they were chasing me up um and then I filmed um a shapewear one for the brand that I mentioned before so yeah had a busy morning so that's kind of all i have to update you guys on really and oh my god guys no i have something else to update you guys on let me go get it so i don't know if i told you guys i'm gonna edit all this out if i have but i had a vintage parcel and it was a monsoon blouse and i really liked it and she had like worn it once but she decided she didn't like it and it was like 12 pounds and i got her down to nine and then where is it oh it's in the washing basket and then basically it was supposed to be delivered and every was like, oh, I got a notification saying it had been delivered. And I'm like, I've been in all day. I've been sitting, I was actually on the sofa on my lunch when you knocked or supposedly, supposedly delivered it. And they hadn't even like knocked. He weren't even on the camera, nothing. So I was thinking, well, someone's got my parcel. Like hopefully they'll return it. Um, and, but then I was thinking to myself, whoever's got it probably thinks I know that they have it and I'm gonna come and collect it, which is obviously not the case. So anyways, four days go by. I was at the gym, the doorbell obviously went, but I didn't see a notification for the doorbell ringing, just the thingy. And then the guy, four or five doors down, so I don't know how they mixed up the numbers. I get mistakes happens, but it's like, I wanted my vintage shirt because obviously it's second hand, you can't always get the pieces come up again. So this is the shirt that I picked up. There's no stretch to it, it's like a little pussy by one it's so nice on um it's got cuff sleeve i'm gonna put a picture here from the picture that i sent my mum and sister so yeah it fits well it's nice and basically i got it for free because i told vinnie it never turned up like i was really gutted like i really 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 wanted this shirt so obviously i've got a refund she's got a refund but yeah i'm not telling them obviously i've got it back but yeah so i got a free shirt basically no i have something else to tell you guys as well so basically you're gonna have to ignore the state of my room because i was like not reorganizing but because i was filming i haven't put everything back so this is the new updated room so basically all of that has to go in the loft i've got to put these away and like i need to find a home for my swimwear because it's taking up too much space with my actual plain tops so sprout basically god she'll kill me if she sees this so sprout reorganized my room so we put all of this here because that's stuff that i use like every day. So yeah, we put that there. God, my guy, my room is a mess. And then obviously you've seen my peep hand clock. She re rearranged that, put that there. And basically I'm gonna get rid of these flowers. I spent a lot of money on them, but they're just not as pretty as I thought they were gonna be. Obviously they're all like falling out as well. Um, and they don't last forever anyway. So that will go. And then I'm gonna get a new, jewelry, new white jewelry box. So that will replace all of them. That's my marshmallows I had yesterday. 
and then basically the window sill will be clear i just need to obviously remove that find a home for that maple's putting dirt on my window love that i don't know where i'm gonna put that yet i'll utilize that somewhere um, but yeah, that's my updated room. And then what I wanted to show you guys in the chat. Am I a bit low? I think I'll put you here. In the charity shop the other day, I bought these plates. Now I'm not a Marilyn Monroe fan, but I saw them and I was like, oh, I really like them because I've got some old ones that I took from my grandma's of like Princess Diana. And obviously like, I feel like in the future they might be worth money, um, but they were my grandma's as well. So it kind of just like, I wanted to have some of her stuff, you know? So these were three pounds. I got this one and they're basically from Bradford Exchange which actually my Alice in Wonderland clock's from and they have like you know what number they are like limited edition but I basically wanted this one first because I was like oh that will go nicely in my room with like the baby pink and then I was like oh but I really like this one um so I ended up getting all three because originally I was just gonna get two but they were only three pounds each and like they're all just like plate number blah 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 so yeah I need to get some wall hooks and then the plan is because I've got so much stuff up there like I can't put any more there and then I was thinking here but it's like a bit too cluttered so I'm gonna put them here but I'm gonna have them going down in a diagonal line for a little bit like something different um and then really I need to sort out this because like I can actually remove this eventually but maybe i'll save it for if i find something else that i like and i want to put in my room so that is officially everything i have to update you guys on i'm doing so much washing that i need to put it out but it's like zero degrees but it's really nice out oh i'm not sure if my mum's called me back but yeah um i need to edit some content get that over hello guys so i totally forgot to update you and tell you guys about this book that i've been reading i came across this girl on tiktok who was doing this blue zone diet i didn't know anything about it she was saying that her biological age clock or whatever was seven years older than what she was so she was 29 like borderline 30 it was saying she was like 30 30 said 35 point or 37.6 something like that anyways so i started looking into it and obviously there's like five places in the world like that are hot spots they're called blue zones and it's where there's sanitarians is that you say it's san sanitarians where people live basically from 90 to 100 but like you know like mid 90s to 100 they did like studies, they've been researching them for years and they found that obviously it's like affected by diet, culture, like less stress, like people you're surrounded with, like your environment. So it is a combination of everything. But obviously I do want to get back onto my little health kick and I do think to myself sometimes like I would love to cut back on like animal products, like meat. I don't want to be like completely plant-based or like vegan, but I would love to just be more conscious of my choices what I'm putting in my body, like things like that. So I read the book and it was very interesting. I learned quite a lot and I learned that on average, meat eaters live eight years less. Well, on average, pescatarians and vegans, they live on average eight years longer than people who eat meat. Um, obviously these people do eat meat um, in small quantities, but yeah, so my book has just come for the recipes. And I'm making one tonight. It's not from this one, like this book, but I found it online. I'm gonna make a sweet potato chili, which um, I'm gonna have lunch first and then I'm gonna make it in the afternoon, like on my afternoon break. And then I'll just reheat it later. So I'll take you guys with me through that process and we'll see what it's like, how it tastes, all of that good stuff. Have a quick flick through for this, but I just wanna let you guys know. I just wanna update you guys and tell you all about it. Cause if you didn't know, like it's definitely worth looking into. It's super interesting. Um, and basically I learned about Singapore as well. Like it's more upcoming with their health kick and like they went from living on average of like 60 years and i think it's gone up to like 80 now if you don't like reading or you don't want to read or you don't want to buy a book they do have a netflix documentary i think it says like live to 100 and it came out last year so yeah i'm gonna have a flick through this and i'll let you guys know what i think and we'll make my sweet potato chili soon okay guys so my vintage parcel just came so basically i had this item favorite for a long time and i made a offer on it and that night, because I literally did it before I went to sleep, that night I had a dream that it sold. And then I woke up the next day and it had sold and I was fuming. And then literally, just my luck, like a couple hours later, she relisted it. So obviously someone must have cancelled it or something, I don't know. Yay! It's new with tags as well, it's from Voodoo Vixen. A size extra large. Um, she did say 35 
inch waist it's still in a bit small so i'm gonna go quickly try it on and i'll show you guys my camera is gonna die so my plan was to try and utilize some of my dresses a bit more for like the colder weather i wanted to try it with a long sleeve top but it doesn't actually look that right with that up there like i feel like if it was lower it probably wouldn't be too bad with a long sleeve top the dress definitely is more snug it's perfect it literally just fits it's only probably like a tad like getting snug around here and maybe like the bust especially when i've got a proper bra on but super cute love it love the colors pink and black very me i've made my sweet potato chili skewed the dirty cooker on that i'm going to clean obviously properly later that's what it looks like so i did taste a bit because I couldn't wait and I wanted to see <laughs> if it tasted nice and I can confirm it does taste all right at the moment but I feel like I need to see what it's like having like a a whole dinner if you know what I mean so yeah that's kind of all I have to update you guys on at the moment little nug nugs woken up from his nap this is Maple's favourite spot up there on the new cat tower yeah I'm gonna have my break now and I will go to the gym, don't know what I'm going to do yet, maybe like arms and back and some cardio, then come back, have dinner, shower and hair wash, and then I'm off tomorrow because it's Sprout's birthday, but that will be a separate vlog, so I'll see you guys in a bit.